Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Raditz, and we are going to start our reading series. So in our reading series, we it's called Units of Study, and our first unit is We Are Readers. So in that, I have made another classroom for us to use, and I'm going to share my screen with you. There we go. This is our first unit, We Are Readers. So let's get started. Every time we meet, we will sing a song. So if we're in the school, we will probably not meet at a rug because right now we can't for social distancing, but we could see we are gathering song that we would use in school. But since we're not, we have a new song we're gonna learn. So I will sing it and then you sing it afterwards, ready? It's time to read, it's time to read. Here we are, here we are. We're finding what to read now, sitting in our spots now, ready to read, ready to read. Now your turn, sing with me. It's time to read, it's time to read. Here we are, here we are. We're finding what to read now, sitting in our spots now, ready to read ready to read. Good. Are you ready to read? I am. I am sitting at my desk in my spot and guess what? See this picture right here? That's my pic. Well, it's supposed to be my, G my dog Gia and guess who's laying right by my feet taking her nap? Yep, Gia is. So that's why I put a picture of like that. If we were in the classroom, I would be in the front of the classroom by the rug so I tried to make it look like our, our classroom as much as possible. Let's keep moving. So each unit has bends. There's three different bends and each bend has nine or so lessons. So these are all of our lessons that we're going to learn over the next two weeks. We are going to focus on these four stories, the Three Billy Goats Grub, the Beetle Alphabet Book, Mrs. Wishy-washy and the carrot seed. And we are going to start our focus learning that we are readers. When we're readers, we can look, we can think, and we can read. So let's get started with lesson one. In lesson one, we are readers and readers read the world. You learn through the world. So if you just look at this picture, I bet you would know some of the words on here without even knowing how to read them. You probably know this word down here says sun and it says actually sunshine because there's a picture of a sun right there. It says hello sunshine. And up here it says leaves are falling, autumn is calling. And there's two pictures of leaves. So you know that leaves is in here. And down here, you might not know what this one says, but if you start to sound out some of the letters we know, you know f and all, fall, the season of fall. And you know this sign up here because that's what we're working on in our unit. So let's see if we know any of the pictures that I found. What does this say? What does this mean? Do you know any of those on here? Do you know what these are? They're apps. Now, this is a, a picture of apps. So if you have a smart TV, you might have these on your TV. Otherwise, you probably see apps all the time on a cell phone. So on your parent's cell phone, see all the little tiny boxes or apps. And if I click on this one, we use these apps in school all the time. So the one that has the green with the camera, you use that every single day that you see me. That's our Google Meet. So you know what these are because you use them or you see them like this one. I bet y'all know what this is, Facebook. You might not have a Facebook, as you're five and six, but you know what Facebook is. What about this one? You use this one all the time. Every single day, you're even using it right now. To YouTube, now it looks a little bit different. On your computer 
or maybe the app button, it might be a little red rectangle with a triangle on its side, but you know that's YouTube. And this one is Netflix, and everybody knows the Amazon smile because we see Amazon driving all over the place. Amazon probably comes to your house or your neighbor's house all the time. All right. What are these? Yep, they're Doritos. Now, if your favorite Dorito is nacho, put your hands on your head. And if it's Cool Ranch, put your hands on your cheeks. My favorite is Cool Ranch. But if I'm having tacos, I like the nacho flavor. Now, speaking of tacos, you might not know all the words on these bags, but do you know what this is? Yep, it's Taco Bell. Now you might not know that this says Taco Bell by reading it without the picture, but you know this is the symbol for Taco Bell. So you can read it and you know these are Doritos. So you just read what these are. Let's see the next one. Yep, milk. Now this is the milk you might have in your fridge. Oh, sorry. It might be the fat bottle or the skinny bottle. And this is the milk you would have at school if you were having school lunch. Now, which one's chocolate? Yep, this one's chocolate. Now this says chocolate fat-free milk. This says true mood chocolate fat-free milk. You knew this was chocolate because of the pictures or the, color, the brown coloring all over. You know that this is milk. You've seen it so you can read the world now. What's this? We all know what that is. It's pizza. And I bet most of you know what kind of pizza. It's Domino's. What are these? Ketchup and peanut butter. I hope you never put them together. That just sounds gross. But you know that the red bottle like this is ketchup. And you know this bottle has that's it, got the creamy brown stuff in it is peanut butter. Now yours might be chunky peanut butter or crunchy, I don't know, I get creamy, but, or it might have a different picture on it, but you know it's peanut butter. You can read the world. So today you're going to do homework that's read the world. You are going to find five things at home. How many? One, two, three, four, five. And you either have to take a picture of it and post it, or you need to take a video like this and post it on your portfolio, telling me and showing me the five things that you can read. So if I just look around my desk, oh, so I had my daughter grab a pack of art. Oh, excuse me, a package. What are these? Reese's, you know what they are, they're Reese's peanut butter cups. So you might not be able to read the word Reese's, but you know what they are. So now you can read the words Reese's peanut butter cups. And, oh, uh, let's see. You know that this is the three Billy Goats graph because you've listened to it. You saw me talk about it and you can see it right on the screen. It's right here in our classroom. So again, you can read the world because you know a lot of things that you've seen and your parents and your family have told you what they are, teachers have told you what they are, and you see a picture matches the words. So tomorrow we will keep learning about being good readers and what readers need. Until then, see you guys later. Bye.